Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out to cure every disease and every illness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I often uh, find myself uh, struck by how the Gospels record Jesus and record his heart. And so in this gospel, we have Jesus in the sight of the crowds. His heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. And really just imagine that uh, moment and the outpouring really of love that he had for the folks. And in a very real way, it's the same for us. He has that same outpouring of love for us because often we are like sheep without uh, a shepherd. Um, the shepherd we celebrate today is St. John Vianney and he served in, in France and uh, the backstory for him is that they really did not want him in the seminary, and they they he really did not do well at his seminary studies, uh, and eventually was able to get through. And that's virtually what it was: get through. And so they sent him to a little bitty village, thinking that he can't do very much wrong there. And, uh, of course, as we know, his uh, uh, really devotion to the sacraments, especially the sacrament of confession, was so profound that people from all over, France and beyond, would come to him to go to confession. And it is purported that even the worst sinner was converted through his experience with uh, Saint John Vianney. Uh, it's really that kind of uh, heart that Jesus is really inviting us to have and calling us to. And we experience that heart in Him. And so let's, as we approach the altar to receive communion, let's open our hearts to experience the heart that has pity for us, that is truly our shepherd in love and mercy. <laughs> 